we are in the middle of this innovation economy. We do two things in universities, if you really boil it down. We're in the education business, and we're in the research and innovation business. When it comes to education, we train the next generation. We recruit, we retain, we develop the next generation. The kind of people we're training are people in cybersecurity, in robotics, in software engineering, and so on and so on. And these are exactly the areas that we're seeing significant job growth. The second aspect of it has to do with our research and innovation. How do, we, how do we contribute to this innovation economy? Well, it's through the startups that come out of these universities. It's also creating an entrepreneurial environment where entrepreneurs and innovators want to come to Pittsburgh and be here. Over the last five to seven years, we've had about 140 startups that have come out of CMU directly or indirectly. We have accounted for about a billion dollars worth of venture investment and follow-on investment in these companies. About 70% of that has gone to companies that are still in Pittsburgh and that are still in our region. If you look at what's happening globally, we are at the center of a societal and economic transformation that's taking place. It's enabled because of advances we're seeing in automation, advances we're seeing in digitization of information, and also advances that we're seeing in, in unprecedented access to data and analytics. Folks, if you step back and look at this, these are exactly the areas, including robotics, autonomous systems, and so on. These are exactly the areas that Pittsburgh and our universities have invested in. These are the areas that are transforming every sector of our economy, from healthcare, as Jeff would attest to that, to transportation, to energy distribution, to planning future cities, not to mention our business impact. Education is being transformed as a result of access to this technology. The NREC facility that sits in Lawrenceville today, just imagine, 20 years ago, that facility was put together. Now, notice what has happened 20 years later. It has helped catalyze that environment. It's not a coincidence that we have 35 robotics companies that have popped up all over the city, especially in Lawrenceville and in Strip District. It's not a coincidence that through some really judicious investment that we have seen such a growth in East Liberty and also in uh, Bakery Square where Google and Autodesk and all of them are, are positioned there. I think you have an amazing alignment of public sector, private sector, our civic institutions, obviously foundations and companies and the universities and so on. We're all doing amazingly well. We're all contributing to this economy without any doubt. What I think is a big game changer for us is we need to have a way where we are much, much more nimble in responding to opportunities that show up. Opportunities come our way, and we need to have ways we're much better organized to go leverage it and build on it. That's great. I'm personally very excited about this.